So the armed intruder alarm system of all the projects that we did at Glen Lake, that was the one that received the most publicity um, because it was the first of its kind in the nation. In the wake of the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas shooting, it seemed like a lot of schools were wrestling more with how to respond uh, to kids who were protesting by in organizing a class walkout than they were to actually address the issues of school security. And um, we were determined that that wouldn't happen at Glen Lake. We wanted to use the opportunity, uh, the tragedy, as an opportunity to make a difference. And we wanted it to be something that was actually going to really push the envelope in terms of what schools can do to keep kids and staff members safe. There was some skepticism on the part of staff members and the board as well, to be honest. They were fully supportive of our intentions. Uh, they just didn't know if it was going to be possible. And there were questions as co about cost as well. Um, we were advocating for a package of solutions that had never been used uh, in a school setting ever. It was something entirely new that, that I helped to develop. And uh, the RFP that I was proposing, that I had composed, um, no one had ever seen it before. The estimates from the board were in the neighborhood of half a million dollars, if it could be done at all. And there was skepticism as far as who, who would even bid on this. And we were so excited that when it did post, we were able to receive multiple bids, um, at least five or six different bids that were viable, that met the requirements that we were putting forth, um, including one that I had put together as an in-house bid uh, that, was, that was the least expensive option at all, of all. But ultimately, we ended up creating a partnership between two two groundbreaking companies, that being the Blue Point company that handled the alert, the pull stations, and the shooter detection systems. And they are the ones who had taken military technology for shot spotting and uh, transitioned that into something that could be used in schools and airports so that if a shot is detected, uh, it automatically would put the school into lockdown without a human being having to take action by pulling one of the, one of the pull stations. The final cost of the project was $156,000, which was about one-third of the estimate. The publicity that we got was really encouraging, and probably the only disappointment of the project was just knowing that more schools didn't, didn't plagiarize our work. <laughs> that was really what we were hoping for. We really wanted other districts to take our RFP and copy it. Um, it got industry attention. We had, uh, especially with shooter detection systems, they were, they, they'd never seen a school or really even private companies put together proposals like we had done. And that led to my being invited to um, a, national, a national conference on security um, that was hosted in San Francisco at Facebook's world headquarters. I was the only representative of a K-12 institution to be able to attend which was a great honor and very exciting. You know, when you're, when you're working with other people <laughs> in these conference sessions who, uh, who are coming from Fortune 500 and 100 companies, and they say, and, and who do you work for? And I say, Glen Lake Schools. Um, it, was, it was fun to get to know people, but it was, it was mostly an honor to represent the education field. And so looking back, um, Armed Intruder was definitely something that all of us could take a lot of pride in and it really did do some great things um, in terms of pushing the envelope and making schools in America safer.